Choosing the volume of developer to use in the hair coloring or lightening process is one of the most crucial steps. So many things come into play. Current level, desired level, amount of gray, texture, porosity, elasticity, ethnicity, it's a lot. What if we were to take four samples of like particulars and lighten one with 10, one with 20, one with 30, and one with 40 volume? How would they vary? If you have never seen my face before, welcome. My name is Shannon. I am a hairstylist and industry educator out of rural Midwest, Illinois. I've been in the field since 2008, and along with being licensed, I also hold an applied science degree in cosmetology. So let's see if I can use all of that and try my hand at playing mad scientist for the day. So what is developer? Well, the most common developer used in the cosmetology world is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an acidic compound with the ability to lighten natural melanin and turn it colorless and also develop oxidative dyes. Oxidative dyes are very small dye molecules that start out colorless when they enter the hair, and then with the help of hydrogen peroxide, they pair together and grow in size to reveal the color that they were destined to be. When you purchase a developer, what you are basically looking at is hydrogen peroxide suspended in a cream or liquid formula in different dilutions. 10 volume is only 3% hydrogen peroxide, 20 volume is 6% hydrogen peroxide, 30 volume is 9%, and 40 volume is 12%. The higher the volume, the higher concentration of H2O2. Using developer with a tube of color is very different than using it with lightener. With color, you choose your developer based on how many levels of lift you want. Use 10 volume for one level, 20 for two, 30 for three, and 40 for four. With a lightener, you choose the volume of developer based on how much lift you need as well, but lightener doesn't give the developer a hard and fast stopping point like hair color does. That is why a lot of times you will see lightener is marketed at seven levels of lift, eight levels of lift. And it's kind of confusing because the highest recommended developer to use is only 40 volume which in hair color would give you a max of four levels. Lightener is just a different animal compared to hair color, which is also why you can't use 10 volume with lightener and expect only one level of lift. Lightener is like your best friend from college. They don't really know when to stop. They just keep going and going and going until they eventually run out of fuel to consume, which in this case is developer. The different volumes of developer give you different strengths, different concentrations of the H2O2. Let's pretend your hair strands are like hallways, and in these hallways you have millions of jelly beans. That's your pigment. So let's say I send 10 people down one hallway and 40 people down another hallway to eat as many jelly beans as they can. Well, they're all going to get full at about the same time but the hallway I sent 40 people down are gonna be able to consume a lot more jelly beans. 40 volume has more fuel, more manpower, so more work gets done. So for this experiment, I took four homemade swatches from the same head of hair. I really like using homemade swatches because I know about the hair's history, I know what processes it's been through, if it's virgin hair or if it's been colored several times, if it's been permed, and it's more than likely a lot less processed than the store-bought swatches you can get from online retailers. So anytime I cut a good amount of hair off but it's still not long enough to donate, like three or four inches, I always save it to do little experiments like this. So this particular head of hair is a natural level six and is virgin. So here's some footage of me making my homemade swatches. I just sort of spread the hair out and pinch off equal size sections, tie them up with a little rubber band, and that's it. I even weigh them out to make sure that I don't have like a crazy amount in one swatch and, you know, just two strands in the other. So the product I am using is Redken Flash Lift. It is a professional lightener, and I am using it in a one to two ratio, which is pretty standard. So I am mixing four grams of developer with 
two grams of powder lightener. You want to make sure you apply really well, flip it over to make sure you saturated everything, and then I label the exact time that I finished with that swatch before I move on to the next one. Here is the 25 minute check-in. This lightener maxes out at 50 minutes, so this is our halfway point. And I'm just going to scrape off some of the lightener so you can really see the work that's being done. And here is a comparison between the 10 and the 40, so you can see the difference. And now we are finished with processing. It has been the full 50 minutes. So here is our final result with product on them. Here is what the swatches look like after I scrape off the excess product. And here are these swatches all done. Well, I hope this experiment was entertaining to watch and hopefully enlightening. And congratulations, because you made it all the way to the end of the video. To celebrate, I, as always, will reveal a little fact about myself. I actually live right next door to my best friend. We have been friends for about 10 years. I met her my sophomore year of high school. Uh, we went to high school together. We were on the dance team together. We went to beauty school together. Um, now we work together. Our kids go to school together. We go to church together. She was my bridesmaid and now we're neighbors. So I don't really think we can get any much closer than that unless our kids get married. That is all the fun I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and we'll chat later. Bye. I haven't thought of anything yet.